So this will be uh, video F in this series on of videos on how to assemble the X robot in SolidWorks. And we have the uh, three gears here ready that we're going to need for the robot. Uh, two of them have the square inserts on both sides. The one on the left here has a round insert on one side, square on the other. So when you're putting together a large assembly, a lot of times you'll do it in steps and have sub-assemblies, which will then be inserted into an, uh, one, the, the main assembly file. But we're just going to start out by save, saving this as the main assembly file. So I'll click on Save. And we did change, uh, I think, what did we change? The color or something, maybe, of this insert. So it's asking if we want to save that. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and, and select Save All. And uh, we'll say Rebuild and Save the Document. And uh, now it's asking us for the name. So, um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to find our other folder here. Okay, so this is, in my particular case, here's a folder. It has these other subfolders with different types of parts. So I'm going to click on this one and create a new folder. And maybe I'll just call this one V5. Whoops. V5 robot. Okay, and then... Maybe I'll just give this the same name. Okay, so now we have the, the assembly saved. All right, so now we're, we're looking back at the uh, PaySpot build instructions. Um, <clears throat> we have the, uh, the gears ready and um, You'll notice that there are steps, I think there's actually 15 steps, and uh, so each step is, you know, there's some pitches of how to do it, and, and we'll, we'll go through and describe each one. And, um, but if you go to the appendix, right, so here's the appendix, then you can see that for each step, it shows you what parts you're going to need. So to do this, this next step, we're going to need uh, you know, the two motors, the one by two by one, 20 hole uh, um, C channels and so on. And I'll just point out again that one by two, um, this is a one by two. And um, you can actually see there's three rows, but one of the middle row is offset. So VEX calls this a one by two, whereas let me find a one by three. Uh, that's, that's another one by two. Okay, and all right, so here's, here's a one by three by one. So now the, the, the one by three has three rows, but they're all lined up, right? There's no offset. The one or the middle one is offset is called the one by two. So anyways, what we want to do is just load in the parts. Let me just get up to one right here. So we want to have these parts ready to assemble. And here's pitches on, right? There's the, the flat bearings and so on. So we'll go ahead and, and just load these parts into, um, uh, into our assembly file. And um, where it says 0.5 inch screws, those are 832 screws. So all of the screws that we're going to use are 832s. I think the models we have actually have um, a hex uh, uh, head. Whereas these have like a Torx, I don't know if you're familiar with a Torx screwdriver, but um, it doesn't matter. I mean, we're just, we mainly want to build the screws in the model uh, just so that we have a picture of them. And a lot of the parts, again, we're, we're doing so that we want to be able to find out the center of mass. All right, so now I'm going to, for step one, I'm going to load into SolidWorks assembly uh, all these parts right here. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the open folder. And I'm going to have to pick up here with the next video.